Hey there guys, it's Tina and I am back and it is actually Christmas Eve right now and I am about to head out to the airport because I have to catch a flight to Miami to go hang with my family because my mama already there, my brothers, my nieces, my, my brother and my nieces and nephews are already there. Another brother is here in New York so you know whatevs but we're gonna spend Christmas in Miami. We spend Thanksgiving here and then for New Year's, I'm actually gonna go to Jamaica. So I'm leaving directly from Miami to head to Jamaica and then we're gonna be back. I think I'm gonna go to Fort Lauderdale when I come back from Jamaica and then head back here in about two weeks. So I have to pack for my trip. So I decided to take you guys along with me. Well, not along, like y'all, I can't put you in my luggage, but, and however, I can pack with you guys. So I wanted to go ahead and show you what I packed for my trip. So, um, confession, I, packed way too much. I overpacked as I usually do with makeup. I don't know. I just can't stop packing when I start packing for makeup. But in my defense, I have to spend like Christmas and New Year's and we're going to go to parties and stuff. So I kind of got to be cute. I'm kind of going to do the most. And so that's my excuse right now. So you're just going to accept it. Please, please give me that as my Christmas present. Just cut me some snacks. So I'm gonna overpack with you guys right now. I'm gonna show you what I'm taking along with me. So if you're interested in seeing that, let's go ahead and jump into what I packed for two weeks of vacation, including like special events because we're going to ring in the new year in Jamaica. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Welcome to my chaos. Are you ready guys? Okay, so I am packing, like I said, for my trip to Miami and then to Jamaica. So I'm celebrating Christmas in Miami and then I'm gonna celebrate New Year's in Jamaica and there are quite a few parties to attend. So I'm not gonna just bring the bare minimum, but let's go ahead and go through all of this and decide what we're going to pack in our little carry-on. So I have my Urban Decay packing case. Let's zoom out so you can see. So this is my travel pouch from Urban Decay. I've shown this before, I think, but this is what I use to pack my makeup in because it's really convenient. It has two sides and it's pretty large. So we have this large pouch and then it has zipper pockets that you can put different things in. And then on the other side, it also has like the mesh separator. So we can pack quite a few things in here. And this one also has a little zipper pocket on the inside as well. So I find this just really convenient to pack things in. It's really easy as well to like separate different items. I love this bag, so this is what we're gonna pack and I'll show you how I pack this once we choose the different products that we're packing. Now one of the great things that happened is that I filmed a video where I could only keep 10 makeup products total and I chose different items that I just couldn't live without. And I have them here because a lot of you requested that I do a look with just those 10 items, so I'm going to do that. But in the meantime, I have the products here, so I know some of these items I'm gonna definitely need to and want to pack. So we're gonna pull from this as well. But here we have it, the disaster that is me. All right, we're gonna start out with my tools that I make sure that I have every time I travel. So let's make a little center pile. So I have my scissors here from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is to trim my brow hairs or even nose hairs. Yeah, low key, if it gets to that, I'm gonna use it for that. But I also find this comes in handy. You never know when you need a pair of scissors. So I have my scissors, I have tweezers, and I bring two. I know, this is overkill, but I make sure I bring these two. So the first one is from Tweezer Man. It's the slanted pointed tweezers. This is so perfect. And then I have these from Rubis and this is a Switzerland brand that I found on Amazon. This works so great. So this one has more of that flat edge. So I bring the two of them, I know. Then I have my eyelash applicator. So this was a free gift with purchase. So I didn't buy this from a specific brand or anything. So I don't know where you can specifically get this one, but there are alternatives on Amazon and on eBay, they're just flat top tweezers. You can just look for this shape and go with it. 
But these, again, gift of purchase, no idea where to find that specific one, but I love it. I have to have it. I'm going to be wearing lashes, so I need that, as well as my lash glue. So the one I'm bringing with me is the Duo Quick Set Strip Lash Adhesive. This is the white clear one. So I've been trying to find an alternative to the Revlon lash glue since they discontinued that. I can't find it anywhere. I have backups, but I've been trying this one out and it's pretty good. So I'm bringing that one instead. And I have my Shuamora lash curler again because I'm wearing fall lashes. So I am definitely taking that. I need my primer potion. So this is the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion. Definitely need that. Then I have my brow pencil. I picked up a new one out of my backup drawer because I want to make sure I'm not running out of this because if I bring the one that I'm using now, I don't know how far that's gonna go. So I make sure I bring a brand new one. And then I also have my clear brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then I also have a razor. This is from Target. It's the, I forget what the brand is, but I love this razor. So again, TMI, but I have a mustache, okay? And push come to shove, I'm gonna shave that, okay? So I have this handy, it's only for my face. So if I find like I have peach fuzz and stuff like that, I use this razor. Yeah, I need that with me as well. Then of course we need a mascara. This is another new one that I grabbed from my backup drawer. So my other mascara that I'm using day to day is kind of running low anyway, so I'm gonna need to swap in a new one. So I figured perfect time, I'll just go with my new one now. And then I have my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara because I'm gonna need this as well. All right, so we're building on our basics. So I'm gonna bring my brow powder as well. I never know when this is gonna come in handy. So with that, I need my brow brush. This is from Paula Dorf, it's the eye definer brush. And the brow powder that I'm bringing is the Brow Gal from Tanya Crooks. I think we got this in a boxy charm and I love it. So I'm gonna bring that one. I'm also gonna bring a liquid liner. This is from Sephora, it's the long lasting eyeliner in the shade black. That is for the lash band of my eyelashes because I wanna make sure I cover that up. And I'll bring in a backup. So this is the Urban Decay Waterproof Fine Point Eye Pen. This is in the shade Perversion. That's another black one. So I can use that all together. And you guys almost made me leave my brow primer. Now I think I should bring the new one. No, I'm gonna bring this one so I can use it up. So this is the Sephora Beauty Amplifier Eye Shadow Primer. And I use this for my brows. So all right. We have those down. Now I'm bringing another eyeshadow primer. This is from Kat Von D. We don't know her, but I love this primer. It's discontinued, so you can't get it anyway, so it's not like I'm promoting it. So this is the high voltage eye primer in the shade Skin. Love that if I'm doing intense eye looks, this works really great to grab onto eyeshadows. It's kind of like the P. Louise base or the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow base, but I prefer that one. Anyway, Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Perversion. This is my waterline liner. I need it. I don't love it that much because it makes my eyes water, but I can't find a better one yet. So I'm bringing my tried and true, bringing my guy, and then I have a MAC pencil sharpener just in case I need to sharpen that. All right, so with these core products, I put them in the zipper pocket right here. So I'm just gonna grab them and toss them in. I'm actually gonna use a brush guard for this brush so the bristles don't get bent. So I use this when traveling. So we'll just toss all of these into this pocket and I know exactly where to go to do my brows and my lashes. That is perfect. No muss, no fuss. That's the first pocket. Done. All right, now let's jump into the base products. So I'm bringing my Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation and Concealer. Love these guys, absolutely can't do without them. I'm also bringing my Charlotte Tilbury powder. This one is a brand new one, and my other one is down to the pan, and the, and the next one is broken, so I can't travel with those, so I'm bringing the brand new one. I'm keeping it in the box and I'm probably going to try to get some bubble wrap to put around this as well. Hold up. Okay, I couldn't find bubble wrap, so I have this tissue paper from some of my packages that I received. I try to keep some kind of wrapping paper or stuff in for boxes because I don't want my things to break and I can use them when traveling to wrap very fragile items. So I'm gonna stuff this into the box. This is how we're gonna travel with this guy. Just in case, I'm bringing this in my carry-on 
so I'm not too too worried about it but listen this powder is expensive I can't I can't I can't risk it I just I cannot okay oh my god I am also going to bring my all-nighter powder from Urban Decay I love this because when I go to Jamaica we're probably gonna get a little bit greasy and greasy and creasy so I'm gonna bring this with me so this is a great like blotting mattifying powder I love this and we're gonna bring my primer my guy here so we have face products oh i need a moisturizer i'm gonna be bougie and bring my la mer oil absorbing lotion just because why not i need to use it up so very pricey let's use that and i'm also gonna bring my dior forever and ever where this is the extreme perfection and hold makeup base this is a great like long lasting base. This is a great pore smoother. So I'm gonna use both of those. And then of course we have the Satin Skin Mist from Tatcha. We're gonna bring all of that. And then I'm gonna also bring this concealer from Tarte. It's the Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Deep because I've been using that as kind of an all over product. And then I'm gonna also bring my Lancome Powder. This is the Absolute Powder in the shade Absolute Almond. This is a great setting powder. It also looks great on my skin and it's great for setting under the eyes. So I'm gonna bring that with me as well. Should I be extra and bring my La Paris powder too? I mean, special occasion, this is like, I need my face to be beat to the gods. So I'm gonna bring all of those for my base. Oh my God, does that seem like too much? It seems like too much, but just let me have things, all right? So with those, I'm gonna put them in one of the large zipper pockets here. So I'm just gonna stack them in. Oh my God, what is this? Part of the zipper popped off? Lord Jesus, have mercy. Save that, we'll figure out where that goes. So we're gonna put, let me make sure these are all under three, yeah. These are all under the 3.7 ounces, so we should be fine. I'll just stack these in here just like that. Make sure everything is tight and right okay oh that's not the deep side so we got to switch over to the deep side let's swap so this is the deeper side of the bag and we'll just stash those over there all right i think i'm going to also just toss in the other face products so i'm gonna bring my highlighter trio from pat mcgrath this is so beautiful. What's the name of it? Does it say? It's the Sublime Skin Highlighting Trio. It's just so good. I love this. And I have options. I have a bronzy color. I have like a gold color and the pink. This and this mix, the pink and the bronze, so gorgeous. So I'm going to use this if I want to do highlighter. I don't usually do highlighter, so just in case, I'm going to put that in here. Let's make everything fit. All right, I can put that on top. And then I'm gonna bring both of my Cover Effects duos. These are the bronzer duos. So we have the Suntan Bronze. This one is Suntan Bronze. This is a deeper one that I'm use, I'll use for bronzing. And then we have the contour one that I use, which is Sun Kissed Bronze. So I'll use this for like my nose and stuff. So bronzer, highlight, and these have highlighters in them too. So that's gonna work perfectly. For the blush, I think I'm going to opt for I feel like going with the MAC blushes. Let me see if these are all the shades I wanna bring or if I wanna swap them out because I have other shades I can swap in and out. Hold on. All right, so let's go ahead and choose some colors because I don't think I'm gonna wear this bright red one at all. So we can pop that one out. So this shade I believe is Devil, right? No, this is frankly Scarlet. I don't need this shade because it's a little too bold for me right now. Here are my other palettes. Let's see if there are any shades in here that I want. Do I have Gingerly in here? No, let's see. Copper Tone. I might wear Copper Tone. So we're going to pop Copper Tone in. You want to know the other shade names in this palette? So this orange one I believe is Devil. So this is Devil, beautiful. I have a full swatch video of my MAC blushes. And then I have, which one is this one? Now let's see, let's see. This is Burnt Pepper. And then this one is a shimmery one and it's called Style. So these I think will serve me well, right? I think this will be great. I have a neutral one, colorful one, 
and that should do and you guys are probably like why don't you bring the juvia's place one i don't want to bring the juvia's place one how about that <laughs> i want to bring my mac one and i'll drop gingerly in here as well and also either should i use papaya or tipsy i'm gonna go with papaya that's another bright blush so oh uh, yeah let me uh, i know i overpack a lot so i'm also going to bring my clinique cheek pop in fig pop all right so i think face is good oh i didn't put my concealer in here let's pop that in here so the face side of the bag is done now let's move on to eye products so for my eyes, I think I am going to be pretty basic. So I'm going to bring the Killer Purr palette from Menagerie Cosmetics. I love this so much. And my Impulsive palette from Melt Cosmetics. I taped the little flaps on it now. So it's easy to keep them in place. Woohoo! So these are two of the palettes that i know i can get tons of looks out of they'll be easy to use every day i'm not gonna wear makeup every day let's be honest but special occasions because i'll go out to dinner and stuff so we'll have that then i'm gonna bring two of my eyes to mesmerize so i'm bringing marie antoinette which is the more taupey shade and mona lisa which is the darker bronzy shade so i'm bringing those two i also want to bring this bobby brown eyeshadow it's in the shade liquid mercury it is so beautiful it's a beautiful like purpley taupe so i'm gonna bring that one and oh i thought about bringing this purple one no i'm not gonna bring this one i don't i'm not gonna wear purple i know that so we can put that away i'm going to bring this tom ford quad i love this quad it is so gorgeous and these shades just work and they're easy to apply foolproof this is the new dip quad i don't know if this is permanent or if it was limited edition but this is such an easy look to have and then i'll also bring my chantakai duo in tibet so these are beautiful as well so I have everything here I can do very neutral looks I can do a pop of color and I'm gonna also bring this salt palette so this is not from salt makeup but the palette is from salt this is just a travel palette so I have some of my go-to shades in here highlighter shades transition shades neutral shades some are makeup forever inglot some Anastasia Beverly Hills so I'm gonna bring this guy as well. Oh, one more thing. My Smashbox Primer Water. I always bring this just in case I need to spritz any of my eyeshadows to get them really dazzling. So we're gonna bring that guy as well. So eye products, oh no, 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 no. Before we forget, I'm gonna bring this black eyeshadow from Rock and Republic. Do you remember these guys? Oh my God. So this is the shade Fatalistic. Rock and Republic no longer exists, but this black shade is so good it's fatalistic it's so easy to blend out it works so well i love it so i'm gonna pack this as well i probably need to wrap this up in something as well let's let's think about it oh my god i almost forgot i need to bring these as well this is from melt cosmetics it's the blur eyeshadow so this is for like blend and transition and then my smashbox nude eyeshadow also for blending and transition just in case i need something more of my skin tone okay so i think all right now we're done with eyes so i'm gonna go ahead and pop those in the other side of the bag and lay them flat because that is easy to do on this side and oh my god they're fitting perfectly this is amazing and i just make sure everything fits nicely in here all right i think we're good here so we can zip her up all right i'm gonna talk brushes before i talk about the lip products so brushes for me i have my foundation brush this is from artiste it's the overall eight so we're gonna bring this and these two brushes from boxy charm i've been loving these so i'm gonna bring those as well i have two sponges so i have my elf sponge which is just a mess it is just listen i love this sponge but i have to toss them out so quickly because you just can't clean them 
and I have a brand new beauty blender so we're gonna pack those I have my bronzer brush from Morphe this is the E2 we're gonna bring that I have my Juvia's Place J123 tapered blush brush I don't use this for blush I use this for powder under my eyes this works great highlighter brush this is from Alori I'm hoping they come back out with these brushes but so far it's been it's been a little while I'm waiting I don't mind waiting and I'm just gonna secure that with a brush guard then I have a couple of brushes from Refer. They just sent these to me and I want to try them out for like blush and highlight because they have the perfect shape. We're also going to put those in brush guards because they're larger and they can get messed up. I have this buffer brush from Zueva. It's the 110 face shape. I use this for concealer under my eyes. I have my blush brush from Smashbox. This is the precise blush. Let's put that in a brush guard. I'm also gonna put the Juvia's one in a brush guard. I think the other ones are fine on their own. Then let's talk um, eye brushes. So I need blending brushes. You already know I have my Detail Pro from Sonia G. Love these. I have my Eddie Funkhauser brush. Do not buy these, okay? This is a special one that happened before the redesign. Now they're very scratchy and I prove that because I just bought new ones to see if maybe they improved. They're still very scratchy. They're poorly made. I don't like these at all. But we're going to keep pushing. So we have another blender brush from Sonia G. This is the Blender Pro. I also have the Worker Pro. And then I have my MAC 252 shader brush. This is to make sure that my under brow is popping. So we have that guy. Then I have a couple of the refer brushes again that I'm going to be testing out. So we'll see how these go. I have my 242 brush from MAC as well. Did I say, say this was the 252? So we have the 252 and 242. This is for lash line work, like lower lash line. I have my blender brush from Real Techniques for primer. I have my shader brush from um, Revival. This is for eyeshadow. Then we have the Sonia Kashuk eyeshader brush and a couple of blending brushes. We have the Beauty Blender shader brush and I also have one from Tom Ford. Then we have a couple of smaller blender brushes. This is another one from Refer. This is a J123 Precision Blender from Juvia's Place. I have my concealer brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is for under my brows. And then we have a couple of Scott Barnes brushes. Okay, let me mention this one. This is from the Makeup Shack. This is also like a concealer brush, but I can cut a crease or shape under my brows with that. And then we have a lip brush from Scott Barnes. This is the number 60. Need this for my lip products. And then we have these two blender brushes. So this is a... 61 and 63 fan brush so this one is a great one for like blending on the lower lash line it has this little detail fan shape it's so good and then this one is also a similar thing but it has more of an angle so this is the 63 so i'm gonna just put some brush guards on these and go to town think those are good and then I also bring a mini brush cleaner so this is from cinema secrets it's fast drying so if I need to clean my brushes I have my little travel guy here I almost forgot my powder brush oh my god you guys I would have been so lost without this so this is from Smashbox it's the kabuki brush don't let me forget that guys oh my god I would have been so pissed off if I didn't have that so here I have a little makeup bag that I use. This is from Rebecca Minkoff. I forget where I got this, but it's such a great little travel bag. So just gonna put my brushes in here, make sure none of them aren't bent. And with the brush guard, I can just slide it down further. And any brushes that I feel, yeah, these fit nicely. This is what I've used before. So it's not like it bends my brushes or anything. But all these guys can fit. Yep. Let me put, maybe I should put a brush guard on this bronzer brush. Just to be sure that it doesn't get bent. And we'll zip that guy up. And voila. Now let's talk lips. I think I'm going to go pretty basic with lips. So I'm going to bring 
my trio lip gloss from Pat McGrath. So this was a holiday set. This is perfect. These sizes work great. I have three lip liners from KKW and then I have two lipsticks from Oma Beauty. So this is Sade, which is the red. And then I have Tracy, which is a nude. I also have this travel lip gloss from Laura Geller. This is the shade Cookie Dough. That's a nice one to have as well. And then I have my YSL number 12 lipstick, which is just a Carl for just a nice pop of color, nothing crazy. I have Pinkies Up from ColourPop. I'm gonna also bring that. And I'm going to bring my Remo Oh My Gloss in the shade. Which shade is this? This one is Contemporary Coral. This is a great little lip oil. And I'll bring my Oma Beauty Rose Lip Gloss as well. That will do it for lips because I'm going to be out and about. So I don't need anything crazy lip wise. And I don't want to overdo it with the lips. Because I always do and then I never end up wearing it. So we're going to skip on that and I'm just going to put it in the last pocket here for lip products. That's going to work great. Maybe I should bring my vampy lipstick as well that matches my hair color. This is from Il Maquillage. It's the shade Matte Trouble. So I'll bring this as well. But that's it for the lip products. And here you have both bags packed. So I'll just zip this guy up and put it in my hand luggage or I can even carry it like this but I choose not to and then stash my brushes as well. So that's everything I pack. I know I tend to overpack with makeup but oh my god when I have special occasions going on I just need to be prepared so I bring all of it. So yeah I think I'm pretty set though. What do you guys think? Alright guys, so yes, go ahead and reprimand me. I know I overpacked as I said I would, but mm, I didn't even show you guys like the skincare products that I brought with me. And I don't usually include that, I just include the makeup. But if you want to see me show you like the other items that I pack that are beauty related, so like skincare, like face wash, um, nighttime routine, and different accoutrement, just let me know and I can film that when I get back because I'm not going to have time to film it right now, but I will film it when I get back and this way I can also do maybe a follow up video to show you guys what I actually used on my trip. So if you're interested in that, I overpacked. So, if you want to know realistically what I actually use, that would be a great video for me to follow up with, I think. So let me know if you guys are interested in doing that. I will leave a poll. I haven't done a poll on my channel as yet and I think it's about time. So if you want to see what I actually realistically used on my trip, then tell me yes or no in this poll. I'll give you a chance to fill that out. And then I also want to know if you guys want to see the additional things that I brought along that were beauty related. So like skincare and all that good stuff. So let me know in the poll if you're interested in seeing that. And I will again film that when I am back. You know? And I realized, yeah I'm doing a lot right now. I realized I didn't show you guys the lashes. I packed lash glue and lash applicator and the most all liner and thing and no lashes. I could have kicked myself for that. So I grabbed my lashes. So I have a four pack here of the Faux Mink Wispies from Ardell. This is what I'm taking along. This is easy. It's a quick, easy way to pack lashes. It's a four pack. I have the perfect style for every day and for fanciness because these are my favorite lashes. They're inexpensive at the drugstore. So I really like this. And I use the coupon. $3.50 or $15 purchase. So whoop, I got those on sale. And then I needed to pack a waterproof mascara because like I said, I'm going to Miami and Jamaica. So we just might be in the water. I have my swimsuit, but I don't have a waterproof mascara. So I packed this as well. And just in case my Too Faced Better Than Sex decides to sabotage me and flake, I am bringing my It Cosmetics Lash Blowout Mascara as well, which is one of my favorite mascaras from 2019. Just because, you know, I don't always trust that Too Faced mascara. It might try to defeat me on my trip. So I'm bringing this as well. So I'm just going to toss this 
freestanding into my purse because I already packed and zipped everything up in my suitcase. And in case you guys are interested, this is actually a little scuba top that I got from Zara back in the summertime. It's actually like a two-piece swimsuit thing, but I don't know if they have it available anymore, but it's a little scuba long sleeve thing. And as I was packing, I was like, oh, I can bring this to swim in. And I decided against it, but I said, hey, it might look cute in a video, so I put it on just in case you wanna know what this is. So I'm wishing you guys a Merry Christmas if you celebrate, Happy Hanukkah if you celebrate, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Festivus for the rest of us, and I hope you guys have a safe and happy new year. And I know sometimes the holidays can be difficult for those of us that have lost loved ones, so I am sending my love and prayers out to you guys, so come in for a hug. Let's just send some positive thoughts out there for those people who are struggling right now in the holidays, because the holidays can be very tough for some of us. So, hope you guys are staying safe, warm, and happy, and I will talk to you soon. Well, in the new year, because I'm not filming anymore after this. But you might see a couple of videos, I'm just not filming. So, I'll see you guys next year. Bye! Thank you.